Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah, and today I would love to review this gorgeous style for you, which is called Shakerato by Beltress in the color Brown Sugar Sweet Cream. If you'd like to know how long she is, how the color is composed, what special features she has, how the cap looks from the inside, and how I like her, then stick around and let's get started. Wow. <laughs> I mean, that was the first thing that came to mind when I put on this beauty called Shakerato by Belle Tress. And I have seen her a lot of times and always thought I really must try this someday. And I'm so glad I get to try it now and show it to you, especially in the new color for me, at least, that I've never worn before. And I'm absolutely thrilled by the style and the color. Shakerato is a really long, very natural looking, low density, very layered style that looks so natural in my opinion. Not elaborate Hollywood waves or curls, but just like the average girl next door that has beautiful natural hair like this and every other girl or woman, no matter what age, wants to have hair like this. And not all of us are blessed with natural hair like this, so now you can have it anyways and look just as gorgeous as that beautiful girl with that natural dream hair. <laughs> now, the wig doesn't belong to me. It was sent to me by my favorite German online store, Perücken Group DE. They are specializing in American brand name wigs, and so, of course, they also have Beltress. And this was a canceled order by a customer, so she's brand new has never been worn or tried on, and I'm really glad and thankful I get the chance to try her on, show her to you, and then she goes straight back to the shop where she will be sold in clearance. And uh, what really astonished me is that she looks just like that right out of the box. You can see the zigzag part is still in there. I won't take it out, of course. And um, what really surprised me is that she has that natural baked in lift directly from the manufacturer. I really didn't do anything to that fringe, I swear. And this is really unusual. It's uh, common with many Raquel Welsh styles that have that great lift right out of the box. But usually Beltres is more straightforward into your face. And uh, you have to fight quite a bit with your heat tools to get other styles to look like this. But this one just looks like this when you take it out of the box. The color Brown Sugar Sweet Cream, which I have never had the chance to try before, has the color code 12228R, is a beautiful brunette, in my opinion. I really love it. And you know me, I usually always just wear blondes. But this is so beautiful. It's a light brown, I would say, with blonde face framing highlights, and I'm completely in love with this color. If I ever want to go darker again and become a brunette, I will definitely pick this color. Now, Beltres describes the color as follows. Created by mixing dark, medium, and light brown sugar with lightly whipped cream and a hint of buttermilk. Okay, <laughs> I love that description. I would say it's a blend of different browns with medium blonde highlights. Let's look at the color codes. The 8, which is the root color, is a light chestnut brown. The 12, which is probably the base color, is a light golden brown. And the 22 is a champagne blonde. Now, I would describe the color as a cool to neutral brown. I don't think it's a warm color, although there is like a golden brown in there. And champagne can sometimes be a warm color. But to me, this color looks really cool, a little ashy, or just neutral, and that's what I love about it. There are no red tones in the color, in my opinion, so that's why I really love it and would pick it if I had to pick a brunette. It's definitely a very beautiful color, and I'm really glad I get to see it live. Now, the wig features a temple-to-temple -temple lace front that is not extended, and a left-side monofilament part. And of course, as always, I'm going to show you this from up close. I don't even have to hold up the fringe. You can see the lace front is quite well done. As you can see, they brought the highlight color right up to the hairline, which I always love. Um, the only thing I don't really like that much is that this part with the, the highlight color is really lightly knotted. There should be much more hair, so it doesn't look like a beginning alopecia or something. But this is common. You know, some models are done like this and others are done better. 
but the knots are fine and you don't have a lot of dark knots in the front so i would say it looks quite natural what i also don't like is that it doesn't have an extended lace as you can see you have a pretty hard line where the lace meets the cap but uh, if you wear the hair a little down and not out of your face it's not such a big deal and not that obvious i can't show you the mono part of course but i'm sure it's also well done or a little too densely knotted what they mostly do at Beltres, i wish they would use all the fibers they use on the monofilament part in front at the hairline but since nobody asks me i can just tell you and hope somebody by Beltres is listening <laughs> all right now of course i'm always much more happy with an extended lace front and Beltres started to do this with all their new styles. I'm really happy about it. But since Shakerado has been there a while, it still has the old type of lace fronts. And of course, I can also live with that. Now, I will show you the length all around the screen, so I won't have to bore you with any numbers. And we can talk about permities next. And this wig not only has a very low fiber density, it also has hardly any permities at all. I don't feel any at the nape where there usually always is permities, none in the back, and I don't even feel any on top. Just on the sides, there's always a little permities, but it's the bare minimum. So if you don't like permities, you definitely can try this style. The only volume she gets is from the waves, which is beautiful and makes it look so natural. But due to the fact that it's such a low density, I'm very sure you can do beautiful updos with this style. Since she's really long, at least for me, you can do beautiful wedding hairdos, I'm sure. Put her up on one side or put her in a ponytail, even in a high ponytail. I think the fibers are long enough to do that. And uh, she's so light and airy that you can even wear her on a hot summer day like today. It's over 90 degrees today. And normally I wouldn't even think of wearing a style that long with these temperatures. But I must say it's really comfortable. She's so light. I mean, the weight of the style is incredibly light. And if you compare her to other styles that have a really high density, this is really comfortable to wear, even when it's hot outside. And like I said, you can always put her up and get her out of the way and away from your neck, of course. So you shouldn't be too hot, even when it's as hot as today. The fibers of Shakerado, as always with Beltres, are made from their heat-defined synthetic, which means you can use your heat tools to change the style if you like. And of course, a style with that length needs a little heat from time to time to keep her looking good. Now, what I would suggest is that you always have some white tooth comb or pick handy, like this one or like the square ones from John Renault and other companies. I always have them in my handbag. And from time to time throughout the day, you should just go through the fibers and detangle so they won't even start tangling a lot until you take her off at night so you won't have to bother with a lot of tangles. And besides, since it's such a low density style, I think she won't tangle as much as styles with higher density, but I'm not really sure about that since I don't wear styles that long, although I have to say I love it. <laughs> Another advantage of the heat defined synthetics is that they're not as shiny as regular synthetic. Like I said, this is brand new. I didn't do anything with it and it has just a very natural shine and is not shiny at all. And the good thing that it's heat defined is you can always use heat to treat the ends if they get a little crispy. If they start looking bad, you can, for example, take your flat iron and really go through the ends or straighten the whole piece and then recurl it. And I've seen videos on YouTube, especially of this style that has been recurled and was over two years old and still looked like brand new. So in my opinion, it's a myth that wigs that are that long and are not regular synthetic won't last as long as regular synthetic, since you can always treat them with heat and make them look almost like brand new again. And if the ends really are extremely frizzy and don't look good, you can just cut off an inch or two and still have a great length and they will look beautiful again. So I will definitely always prefer heat-defined synthetic over regular synthetic. 
All right, now let me show her to you from all sides. And after that, of course, also outside in natural daylight. So how do you like her? Isn't she a dream come true? I think she's so beautiful. And as you've seen, I can bow down, come back up and she stays out of my face, which is so great. And this is, like I said, straight from the box. And what definitely helps with that is that she is layered throughout. In my opinion, that looks great and helps a lot that a hairstyle is not a face flopper. And this one definitely isn't. Now, when it comes to styling, like I said, you could do beautiful updos with this. I'm sure you can do a lot with this, with that length of hair. I don't like styling hair that much, so I prefer to wear her down. But if the opportunity came along and I was invited to a wedding or would get married myself, well, you never know what the future brings, right? <laughs> I think I would pick a style like this to make a beautiful wedding hairdo. All right, now let me show you this gorgeous color outside in natural daylight and partly also in direct sunlight. So how do you like the color? Do you also love it? Do you have it? This is definitely on my list if I ever want to become a brunette again. <laughs> okay, now last but not least, let's have a look at the cap from the inside. So here's the cap from the inside. Here you can see the lace front, which is not extended and seamlessly goes into that mono part, which is quite deep and also approximately an inch wide. So you have enough parting space. Then on the side, she has the felt covered ear tabs with the metal stays inside. The rest of the cap is open wefted. She has an extended nape, which is great for updos and the typical bell truss pull string adjusters. All in all, this is a well-made cap. Okay, that was my review of Shakerato. I hope you liked it and it's helpful. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to my channel so you won't miss my future videos and there's a new one coming out each Friday. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below and I will definitely reply. Thank you all so much for being here. I really appreciate it. I hope you're well. Stay that way and I will see you again soon. Take care. Bye bye. Has the color code 8R. No, very kind of imaginary. <laughs> Do you say that? No, you probably don't. <laughs> Medium chestnut brown or light? No light. Oh to temple lace front that is not extended and the left side monofilament part which of course i'm always no they get a little you know oops to treat the ends you are approx and approximately an inch has been a lot has since shakerato has been um Now, if you like this long hair dream come true, you might also like this one. Or also this one. Or you just have a look at them both. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys.